Well, the word origami means paper folding. So ori means fold, and gami or is paper in Japanese. And so it was or originated in Japan, and it's been around for a couple of thousand years. Um, the kind of origami that we do today, the modern origami, began as early as 1200 A.D., and then it evolved around 1600 A.D., it evolved into much more of what we see today. And was practiced by people of nobility in the courthouses, in the, uh, the rulers, the emperors, the local lords. Um, and it, it was one of the arts that was similar to learning tea ceremony or flower arrangement um, and uh, those kind of things. So this was a pastime mostly made for women back in the early days, I believe. Uh, See, I began doing origami as when I was, as actually as long as I could remember. I was very young, living in Japan, and I began doing a little bit of origami there. And I more remember doing origami when I came to America when I was eight years old. And at that time, I learned a couple of things I remember making. One of my first things that I learned to make was a, a person, a Japanese person. And I just made that over and over. And because I enjoyed origami, I began to learn other things to make. Uh, one of the more famous, popular things that people make is a crane. Mm -hmm. The peace crane, they call it now. Oh. Oh, my word. You know, if I could make a thousand cranes, I wouldn't have to bum a ride for the PD Space Shuttle. That's beautiful work. Thank you, Frankie. Each one of these things that you see, they're, they're little tiny cranes that I folded. And as I mentioned earlier, the crane has a significance of good fortune, good luck. And the story goes in ancient Japan that if you make a thousand cranes, that your wish will come true.